The Kosovo Specialist Chamber's outreach team frequently meets with people all over Kosovo to provide information about the court, to listen to people's concerns, and to answer questions. We want to share with you today some of the questions people have asked and our answers. Are some of the cases taking too long? The length of proceedings is specific to each case and can depend on a number of factors. For example, if the alleged crimes took place in several different geographical locations, if there are multiple accused in one case, the length of time over which the alleged crimes took place, the number of witnesses called by the parties and the nature and amount of other evidence submitted. If there are a large number of alleged victims, if the prosecution is alleging different types of individual criminal responsibility, like command responsibility, if the individual is accused of several different crimes. In addition, before the trial can begin, there are a number of important preparatory steps that need to take place. For example, the defense needs to be given the chance to raise challenges against the indictment. The prosecution needs to share its evidence with the accused, and defense needs time to carry out its investigation and prepare its case. Time needs to be given for victims to apply to participate in the proceedings. The rules of procedure and evidence provide for a variety of timelines and deadlines that have to be met during the case. The judges apply these rules to ensure that the trial is conducted as expeditiously as possible without compromising the safety and security of witnesses, the fairness of the proceedings or the rights of the accused, and while making sure the voices of victims are heard. What information is the prosecution expected to give the defence before the trial starts? Before someone is accused of a crime and brought before the court, the prosecution conducts an investigation in which they gather evidence, such as documents, photos, other tangible objects, and witness statements. If a person is charged with a crime and an indictment is confirmed by the pretrial judge, the prosecution has to share all the material collected during its investigation that is relevant to the case with the accused so that they can adequately prepare their defense against the charges. This sharing of evidence is called disclosure and takes place according to a timeline set by the rules of the Kosovo Specialist Chambers and the rulings of the pretrial judge. The first part of material the prosecution has to share with the lawyers of the accused is the evidence that supports its indictment. They need to share this evidence within 30 days after the accused is first brought before the court. After this, the prosecution has to disclose any further evidence they intend to use during the trial to support their case against the accused, such as witness statements, expert reports, and exhibits. This has to happen no later than 30 days before the start of the actual trial. Any evidence that could suggest the innocence or mitigate the guilt of the accused must be presented to the accused as soon as the prosecution becomes aware of its existence. This type of evidence is called exculpatory evidence. Finally, the prosecution has to notify the defense of any other evidence they may have collected during the investigation. Even if the prosecution does not plan to use this evidence at trial, the defense can still ask for it. <laughs>